Seems like everywhere we drive in El Paso, we see orange barrels. Next week is National Work Zone Awareness Week. And here with what you need to know about it, TxDOT's Jennifer Wright. Jennifer, first of all, why is there a Work Zone Awareness Week? It seems like we can't help but think about them all the time. Oh, but Mark, do we or have we become complacent? Texas has over 3,300 active work zones on our 80,000 miles of roads. Locally, there are over a dozen from El Paso, I mean, from Anthony to East El Paso and more when you take maintenance work into account. Work Zone Awareness Week highlights what many of us have grown accustomed to across the district because work zones can be dangerous places and not just for the work crews. All right, so how many people were killed in work zone crashes? Last year in Texas, 205 people were killed in work zones and only one of them was a highway worker. 175 were drivers or passengers, 27 were pedestrians, and two were bicyclists. In El Paso, we were lucky to have no fatalities, but we did have 12 serious injuries. All right, it may seem obvious, Jennifer, but how do we know when we're in a work zone? Well, the biggest tip is when you see the color orange. That's orange signs, cones, barrels, or people wearing orange. These are signs you are entering a dynamic situation and road crews are only a few feet away from fast moving vehicles. All right, so how should our behavior behind the wheel change? Well, ideally not that much because you should always be driving carefully and adhering to the posted speed limits, but especially in a work zone, you need to slow down, pay attention, expect the unexpected and plan ahead for delays. All right, let's unpack that list. Okay, let's first slow down. Work zones have reduced speed limits, and these are for your safety as well as the safety of nearby workers. Obey them, don't tailgate. Speeding is one of the major causes of work zone crashes. Pay attention. Be alert, pay attention in construction zones, and keep in mind that while textile workers may be injured or killed, there are more drivers killed in work zone crashes than highway workers. Expect the unexpected. Work zones have slow moving, heavy equipment that can enter or exit the ro roadway unexpectedly. Be mindful that traffic configurations often change over the duration of a project, so the roadway you encounter may be different than when you last drove it. And lastly, plan ahead for delays. Slowdowns from highway construction can be frustrating, so keep your emotions and distractions in check. Plan ahead, leave early, pack your patience, and take alternate routes when possible. All right, so what about those temporary work zones for fixing potholes or guardrail repair? Well, okay, so work zones can also be marked by temporary signage, vehicles with flashing lights that warn a crew is ahead, and attenuator trucks that are, designed, that are designed to absorb impact with a car. But not all of them have barricades. So what if no one's working and all that's standing between me and where I want to go is a movable barricade? Only TxDOT workers and contractor crews are allowed in a work zone. And do you have an extra $2,000 burning a hole in your pocket? Moving a barricade is illegal, dangerous, and fines can reach $2,000. So best just to take the detour. Yes, ma'am, enough said. All right, so what major closures do we have to look forward to next week? I-10 Widening West will close I-10 West at Artcraft Sunday night at 9, but traffic can get right back on the 10 after that intersection. Loop 375 is closing northbound main lanes Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday nights, along with the Pan American and Alameda underpasses. The Montana project is closing the eastbound frontage roads Tuesday night for a traffic switch at Global Reach to Lee Trevino, and that's one of those changes we just talked about looking out for. And watch for maintenance and guardrail repair everywhere, all the time. All of those work crews are out there, so keep an eye open, folks. Jennifer Wright with TxDOT, thank you very much. Thank you, Mark.